So just yell out. How many people out there grow some of your own food or are beginning to learn how to grow your own food? Okay. It looks like I'm in the right place. Okay, well, uh, well, why do quite a few people do this? You know? Well, there's a, a today uh, uh, across our country, uh, this is this phenomenon is happening between people who want to grow their own food, and uh, there's a, there's a good reason why. Well, people are starting to get concerned about conventional ways uh, our our produce and things are grown, uh, and uh, there's big worries about that, and they're looking for alternatives. Okay, where do you go? And now we have some people who, uh, who start looking for the farmers markets that are in the area. And the uh, big word is organic these days. Everybody wants to eat organically. Okay. And uh, so where are they? The other part is uh, people are starting to look for CSAs. Okay, what does is, what is CSA stand for? It stands for Community Supported Agriculture. Now here in Texas, I, and this is an option, here in Texas I've learned recently from a friend that uh, Vermont is leading the country in, uh, in locally grown food organically, and uh, sadly to say, Texas is bringing in lats. So we're here to do something about that. And, uh, okay, well, uh, what is community-supported agriculture? Well, it, uh, for, I'm going I'm to pretend like uh, most people may not know, be aware of what it is. Community-supported agriculture is just what it says. It's a community of families families who uh, invest in the farm up front to pay for a share in that season's harvest with the understanding that you know we're going to have some fabulous crops you know but they're, from time to time we're going to have crops that fail due to adverse weather conditions or or soil conditions or pests when you're organic it's very work intensive and we can't use pesticides and herbicides and chemical fertilizers to, to keep those problems down. Well, today uh, we're going to talk a little bit about you know, what makes a good CSA member. You know, it's a, it's a new idea to, to the area and it's growing here in Texas. Uh, well, what, is, what makes a good, uh, a good member? Okay, well, first off, let's, let's uh, look, at, uh, look at your family and your habits. How do you eat? Are you, uh, uh, is a CSA right for you? Uh, okay, well, who are these people? These are people who already have made the commitment to eat healthy, healthily and uh, do more things for their health, which include organically grown vegetables. Uh, you, don't, you don't have to, we're preaching to the choir of these folks, but, uh, and people making those commitments uh, have to change. You know, they have to change the way they think about what they do and how, where, how they go about it. Okay, now uh, imagine this, if you will. Uh, can you imagine a, a farmer who wants to grow a plot of land and he's going to do all of the work and details of uh, every part of uh, growing food by himself? Uh, my wife and I, uh, in the four years we've been here, have two acres under cult cultivation at this time. With more to come, but uh, I'll have to tell you, I can't do it by myself. It's impossible. Uh, there's too many details and I'm finding out every day uh, because I'm learning too, that it's more than I can handle. Okay, here's where the com community comes in. Uh, community allows a farm to, uh, for people to come out and actually put their hands into the dirt. Really uh, help the farmer see how their, their plants grow and see where the food comes from. Well, why, uh, why do people do this? You know, for, for the peace of mind of it, for one, they can see the process from beginning to finish and, uh, and reap the benefits of doing so. Okay, what, uh, to our surprise, we, we had a number of volunteers as well. You know, volunteers are, are essential to our, our, our goals as well. And we weren't expecting them, and all of a sudden, we got people just wanted to show up and say, uh, is there something that we can do on your farm? And I said, my wife and I laughed at this because there's always something to do on the farm. I look, I look at our list and it's kind of like a scroll. You open it up and it falls to the floor and it's rolling down the way and you say, that, that's the list? Yes, that's the list. It's, and all of it's important and all of it has to be done in some kind of way. This is where it's, it's been great to see these uh, folks come out here at SFA as well. We've had a lot of number of, of, of uh, volunteers come out and, 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 and just do stuff around in the place. 
uh, part of those people of the members who come out they're they're afraid that they don't have uh, they can't find anything to do for them they may not be physically able to work on the farm well you know that's uh, this, there's a misconception there because you know uh, there's things on the farm that don't require that you sweat or that you're out there pulling weeds or in the hot sun you know as, as a farmer we think of the future we say seed uh, okay seed needs to Needs to be dried out. The chaff needs to be removed from it, and so that and packaged, so that we know what year it came from and what it is. Little jobs like that. Uh, it may be cleaning the cold room. It may be as something as simple as as mowing the lawn or helping clean the clean containers. You know, we have you know, farms are full of containers. So uh, people that are not aren't familiar with the process. It maybe make them feel more comfortable if they know there's things that they can do. Because I know they want to contribute, but they don't know how. And we can sure change that. Okay. Um, now, uh, this is a concept that's kind of hard for people to get behind, too. You know, imagine you have a job. Okay, I'm going to get this job, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get hired there, and, and I'm going to pay them for me to work there. I uh, we can see that that's, that's a little bit off of the way to think. Okay, that the, the concept of CSA is a good one. It works. And, uh, and it does require that you do, some, do something to contribute to, the, to making it grow. And why is that? There's a, a lot of these farms are not big thousand or million acre places. They're just a couple acres or maybe even smaller as they grow. So that, that they're, they're just regular people like Cindy and I. Uh, Cindy teaches school. I was a machinist for four years, so we said we're going to farm, okay? And it requires, okay, uh, we're relying on the other people to help you go through the things you need to do. Okay, uh, one point we'd like to talk about is uh, um, farm safety. You know, we have so many people come out to the farm, children, families, they spend some time hours there. And uh, we want that experience to be a good one for people who want to come sit, uh, come to the farm and see what it's like. And uh, so, uh, parents help us to teach you, so you can teach your children what are the right places to go when you're on the farm. So we don't want to see the kids drive, uh, climb around on the tractor to see if they get fall and get hurt. Uh, we don't want them to. They want them. We want them to know we have a pond and there's berries down there and they can fish. But so watch out for the snakes. Simple things like that for people who are not aware of uh, the outdoors are, you know, are, are a good thing for people to know so they can be aware of them. One part about the farm that is, is awesome is that uh, uh, the colors, the smells, the sounds, and all those things that are involved uh, make it a wonderful place to be. And uh, there's nothing like pulling a carrot out of the ground and wiping the dirt off of it and eating it and realizing how good it is. And, or taking a tomato that's still warm from the sun and eating, and eating it and saying, oh, this is heaven. Thank you.